first cast and we're into it. It's going to be a big morning. It's going to be a successful morning. Trying to get a big fish off the top. So we just pulled up, just having a coffee. Yeah, we've just spent the last two hours flicking surface and not even a buff, nothing. Um, yeah, it's interesting the trees along the Barmer Forest here, as in the red gums. And, a lot thinner, taller, um, not your normal sort of red gums you see up around sort of Swan Hill bar, uh, Barren Way. No, obviously there must be a different species, I don't know. If anyone knows, I'd love to know. Um, yeah, drop in, in the comments below. I'm not sure what sort of species for, of red gum they are, but absolutely beautiful. So we're um we're gonna change up and yeah get under the surface, throw a few hard bodies around, I suppose, and yeah after me donut day yesterday, I've got to do a lot better today, surely. So anyway, we'll push off and um, finish me coffee and yeah we'll see whether there's any hungry hungry fish out there.
lots more I got a life that's I would die for If I got everything, then why do I need more? Why do I need more? Lunch day five. Just pulled up a nice little spot here in the shade. Just went for a swim. Evie's looking for some food. Just having a couple of hamburgers. Um, just do no fish for me. How'd you go today, Brent? So he's got the three trouties. Some three small fish. And um, we'll probably have a bait fish this afternoon, I think. My shoulder's a bit sore with all this flicking. It's a cracking, absolute stunner of a day. All right, lunch is done. And yeah, we're gonna jump in the boat. Brent's already head off. And we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna put a few Ks in. Um, forecast the same we get it might get a bit of rain tomorrow so we're thinking we might get a little bit closer to the picnic point we're planning on at this stage doing a night at picnic point got a bit of shelter in that there as well so beautiful day to be yeah just cruising down the river battery's a little low too um so i'm going to use this opportunity to get the dc the dc charger generating a bit of power and also the solar so um yeah we'll push off and um, head down that way. Today was 
Cobram, sort of coming into Cobram, coming into Toke. Um, whereas Brent, he sort of, he's had a, a fair bit to me. Um, but one of the one of the tricky things is, is trying to get a gauge on where you're at. Sort of lucky Brent printed out the map, but um, if you're relying on markers on the river. I don't know, I don't know whether anyone can tell me, but um, my, I thought they were every two k's, but yeah, we've sort of been lucky to see one. But yeah, the interesting thing is, regardless of not having any coverage, you can still jump in the Google Maps, and it'll give you a bit of an idea on where you are on the river. Um, as in where it's going, what sort of path it's taken. So if you've got something to refer to, um, very similar, I'll give you a look again. We printed this, printed this map before we left, so we could sort of, which is from Google Maps, so we can sort of use that as a bit of a reference um, with regards to, you know, Roughly how far we're going, where we are. And, um, yeah, and how we're sort of travelling with regards to a schedule. So yeah, so um, phone coverage, yeah, very sketchy. quite a few of these like little weirs they've got these gates not sure what they're for I don't know whether they're to feed the channel or they've got something to do with flooding the forest yeah, if anyone knows I'd love to know I've seen a few along the trip coming to the end of day five and um, yeah I only got the one brim today got about an hour's left or probably half hour 45 just another beautiful evening in the Barmer State Forest so we're gonna flick a few lures around Till it's dark. See whether we can pick one up before the day's out. We'll get into it. So we've got a heap of kambungi just in front of us. A few limbs laying down. I might just focus on this area. I'm thinking 
could be a bit of bait fish sort of hanging around feeding close to that kabungi and hopefully a big cod might be in there chasing them so I think we'll focus on this area with this little got the little mission special spinner bait in the 5.8 I'll flick that in there and see whether we can generate some interest Been tough going since we hit the forest. Um, just to sort a few guys. They said they've been here for three weeks, and they've sort of struggled to get a fish. They've got two legals between three of them. They've only got a dozen fish. It's pretty tough going. They're only just bait fishing. <laughs> that said. <laughs> We'd expect a better return than that. there might be a big fish in there. Well there you go, day five and one brim as good as a donut. Yeah, we're gonna head back upstream to camp. Um, yeah, and it's uh, got a bit of a change in the weather coming through tomorrow, so maybe that might do something. But um, yeah, I think we'll get up early and we'll drift back down through this path. Heaps of good timber, there's gotta be fish in there. So we'll just keep casting out tomorrow morning. There you go. He'd be around that 50, yeah, just over 50 mark. Just got him fishing off the back of the boat with a bit of chicken. Just back at camp. Bit of a whack him back in. Well, day six. Absolutely had a phenomenal sleep once again. Jeez, I've slept. Um, slept into, what time was it? She slept into eight o'clock this morning. Um, obviously, it was a bit of a late night, but that's okay. Um, yeah, a bit of a change in the weather. Come over to this some threatening sort of looking cloud. We're meant to get a bit of a storm today, so I'm not sure how it's gonna come out. Um, But yeah, once again, it's, it's just beautiful being in the in the forest, state park, national park, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, we had no rain last night, which was good. So everything was nice and dry when we were packing up. So we get a bit of rain today. And it's 
just need to make a few adjustments to the bow. Um, anyway, we're gonna head down river a little bit, have a look around, have a bit of a fish, catch up with friends, and um, we'll see how the day unfolds. All right, day six fishing. Gonna get a line in. Wait to start though, but um, we're gonna start just flicking a little hard body around. We're gonna try this little 90 mil AC Invader. Um, it's in the Forbes color. The, got a nice section along here. Um, bit of kabungi in the timber. I'm just gonna throw out the edges and see where they can entice a bite. Okay. Once it gets a little bit deeper, so they tend to throw that big heavy spin right spinner bait around. Sort of looking for a bit of timber in amongst this kabungi. Keep flicking and see if we can get one. All right, just had a river bath, change of clothes, clean the teeth, feeling fresh. Gotta yeah, try something a little bit different. We gotta go to the, I think it's about a 90 mil, oh, it's a 100 mil um, orgy, just in the hard body. Um, it's got a bit bigger deep on it. We're fishing a little bit deeper. The water's been a little bit deeper, so it should get us nice and deep early. So um, we're gonna try that for a little bit.
Anyway, morning session day six, and yeah, another another donut session. But we got really it's quite a bit of breeze. Barometer shit today, so it's probably not helping us. But um, probably heading to Pitney Point, I think, and suss that out. And I've never been there before, so it'll be interesting to see the mouth of the Edwards. We'll have a we'll have a bit of a look at that. Yeah, we'll hit it hard this afternoon. So here we are, lunchtime day six, and we've just pulled up at Picnic Point. And um, so there's the Edwards going down there, and there's the Murray. Um, yeah, beautiful little spot, massive um, restaurant, bar, pub, whatever you want to call it. Apparently, it's only open Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, caravan park's just down there, we'll go down and have a look at that after we have a cook up so yeah bit of meat frank's onto the veg so we're gonna have some lunch have a bit of a look around and um yeah we'll go out and do a little bit more fishing this afternoon and then we have the picnic point caravan park it's like a nice little setup spot there to park the boat There's the 1790 marker. So we've come just on 100k's. Oh, sorry. So we've come just on 200 k's. So the park's a lot bigger than what I thought. Jesus. Some different setups. Um, right on the river, how good would it be? It's a bit of an update on our travel. So, from my whaler, 980, sort of 990 mark, 1990 mark, all the way through Cobram, Toke, through right across this picnic point. That's where we had lunch today. We're sort of heading down towards the Narrows. We'll probably camp just down there somewhere tonight. 
Had a very overcast, threatening day. Thankfully, it hasn't rained yet. Yet, that is. But, um, had a little breather, a bit of a swim. And um, I'm going to go out there and keep flicking. It's two massive eagles. See, they had wedge tails. Is that big? They are big. Ready, belly black. Going down for a drink. Seen a few of those over the last couple of days. So here we are, day six campsite, and we've been lucky enough to find a spot where someone's left us a bit of wood, which is good. Um, got a beautiful, just on the corner here. Got a beautiful spot. View's amazing. Um, Plenty of timber around as well. <clears throat> Brent reckons he's going to get one tonight. <clears throat> so this is the spot. So Brent's got. A, I reckon he'll have a few night lines in tonight. Yeah, good idea. So tap, tap, tap away. Eva's happy, she's got her own little pie over at the beach over there. Evie, Evie. Yeah, doggy, yeah, yeah, yeah. So the boat's tied up, swag's up, and I'm gonna go keep flicking. Let's see whether I can get one. Anyway, we're not that far from our final rendezvous, so we've probably got, I don't know. Um, 30, 40 k's maybe um, and we'll get up in the morning and do the same thing but um, hopefully we'll get one before the, the night's out alright here we go Evening session, day six. No fishies today, unfortunately. Not through the lack of trying. Been flicking all day. Tried all sorts of different baits, or different lures. But yeah. Haven't had a bite, not even a hook up. Nothing, so been tough going but I'm going to just flick spinner baits around I'm not going on surface just not feeling confident I'm gonna get one off the surface more luck with 
and close to the structure, hugging the edges, flicking some spin weights, some hard bodies. It's going to be the plan. It's got to happen, it has to happen. <coughs> Scenery is amazing. There's just no one around. Um, haven't seen a boat since Picnic Point, basically. So, Serenity's been amazing. And a big fish would be a bonus. But in the world of cod land, there's no guarantees, but that lure in the water, you've got a chance. So, we've just headed upstream from camp. Just going to drift back for an hour or so. Let's see if we can snag one. Loving this Miller rod. Um, I haven't had it for long. Um, flicking those heavier lures just makes a huge difference. Um, obviously, get that lure out a lot further. Just using the Corrado 300, which um, works a treat, hasn't missed a beat. Been, been a ripper rod. In the ambush 702. Um, yeah, no, it's been good. So we're just cooking off the back of the boat, just doing a bit of a little bit of bait, fishing off the back of the boat, cooking a bit of tucker and got a nice bite and we've got this nice little cod. So Brent and I reckon he's probably about that 52, 52 mark, so yeah I reckon he's probably, yeah even around 55. Oh no it's 100, nah no, they're joking. <laughs> One hook him and let him go. Well, good morning, day seven of the drift, and yeah, we've had rather a cool night, and we're just about to head off. Um, just gonna have some brekkie. Rents up at the bat, having a coffee and the dog, and yeah, we just managed the one fish which we got late last night yesterday. I think we're gonna yeah keep on flicking this morning. We're gonna be heading down towards the Barmer Lakes today, um, so through the Narrows, um, so yeah, it'll be really interesting to have a look through that bit of the river, but we've got a pretty windy day, but we're meant to get some sunshine, so it's going to be pretty good, so. And there it is, the Mighty Murray River. Looking a treat. Another beautiful sleep last night. So, yeah, looking forward to getting out amongst it again today. So day seven. Uh, it's been a few days since I've got one flicking, so hopefully Today's going to be the day. It's probably going to be our last sort of major day of fishing as we've sort of got the rendezvous at Barma um, tomorrow morning early. So, um, yeah, let's hope we can get one flicking today. We're going to continue the persist. Um, it's going to happen. Um, we're just going to keep putting those lures out there. But, Anyway, it's good fun doing it regardless. Fish is a bonus. 
but um, yeah, the scenery coming through the forest here has been absolutely amazing. It's been very enjoyable. Anyway, we'll find that first spot, get organised, put some different lures on, I think, and um, we'll keep flicking. So we have the Swift Creek Reserve just in the background there. We've got the 778 marker. And I believe this is the entrance into the Narrows. We've got Swift Creek just off to the, the right hand side there. So we're very much into the narrows now and um, yeah it's quite, it's quite tricky to navigate in some spots in the sense of um, trying to flick lures and keep your boat in a good direction trying to target good areas without slamming the boat into the timber. some cases probably just moving a little bit too quick for flicking lures it's not until you get to little areas like this little pockets where it's um sort of slow down a little bit such good looking water Better get a fish soon. All right, we spent the majority of the morning flicking, just not having any luck. Mate, it's down, Brent's down the river, he's got a nice one, so I might change up, do a bit of bait fishing. I need to charge up the batteries as well. So the old electric in this really fast current is um, yeah, draining the battery pretty quick. So yeah, I might go sit in the sun somewhere and um, yeah, we'll a bit of a bait fish I think so whether we can get one to or not. There we go, bait fish in four hope minutes. We got a little trout cod. Beautiful little fish, we'll get him back in.
<laughs> Jesus. Look at that. <laughs> Any little sucker? We're getting a bite on this one. So it's another little trout cod. Always. <laughs> Doing a bit of skiing. section here oh I'm on oh she reached my nice little card He's just gone the 50 mark. Nice little coin. Back in, back in. So that's our morning session done. It's um, yeah, a bit of a flick early, no luck. A bit of a bait session. Got a couple, which is good. So. We're gonna head downstream a little bit, catch up with Brent, pull up, a bit of a freshen up, have some lunch, and um, yeah, we'll head out this afternoon. Another little sesh. Got a beautiful day. Um, finally, we've got some sunshine, which is good after a couple of cloudy days. So we charged up the batteries a bit. And, um, yeah, ready for that afternoon session. Just come into the Barma camping and picnic park, and, um, and there we've got the Barma Lake off to the off to the left there. That's Murray back into the, the Narrows. There she is. Set a transition in the colour of water.
Friday afternoon session, had some lunch just downstream for the park. Just gonna keep bait fishing for a little while. Um, real change in the water clarity since yeah, since we sort of come out of the narrows. Um, it's really cloudy looking. I'm not sure how, what it's gonna be like for flick of the lure, but um, we'll assess this afternoon, I think. Fish. Oh, he took me in the timber. I've got him out, eh? Oh, yeah, he's all right. He's a nice fish. Get him in the boat. Ah, got him. Here we go. Nice 56 centimetre. Got him on bait, just got him on the chicken. Lovely fish. Put him back in. So we've just come downstream from the Barma camping ground and yeah real transition in the, in the river um, obviously coming out of the narrows expecting it to widen up a little uh, which it has but just clarity in the water um, gone that real sort of milky color um, still not too bad sort of that typical sort of Murray um, anyway pretty high sort of fish mainly around that Pachuca way but I just wonder just the transition from the narrows as soon as we hit the Barmer Lake um, with the Broken Creek coming in you know, whether that's um, quite impacting on the clarity not 100% sure but, um, yeah it's not nearly as deep as well finding so anyway, we're just going to work downstream for a little bit longer and continue to have a bit of a bait fish. We're having a bit of success with that today and enjoy the beautiful Mighty Murray River. Alright, so last night, last camp for the big trip and yeah, just come for a bit of a walk, stretch your legs. So um, have a can. Um, yeah, been been a good day. Um, pretty well spent the majority of the day bait fishing. Got a couple of nice little fish, which was good. A few little trouties. Um, Frank got a nice one as well, which is great. So yeah, we're just going to enjoy the campfire tonight and 
um, have a couple of quiet drinks before we go to head home tomorrow. But just going for a bit of a walk through the bush. Such a beautiful evening. It's been pretty windy today. It's going to be a cool night, but um, can't beat walking through the red gums. I reckon it's absolutely beautiful. So anyway, we'll be up nice and early. Well, with a bit of a fish before, yeah, meet my rendezvous. It's going to be a beautiful morning. So last day of our drift, so um, yeah, got a little short window, so we're just going to push down to Barma this morning, uh, meet up with a mate, get picked up. Um, so yeah, we're just going to move on in, um, go to the boat ramp there, wait for the arrival, and um, we'll be heading off. So we'll have a bit of a look down the river as we push into Barma, and um, we'll go from there.
So here we go guys, Barma, we made it. Um, absolute amazing trip, um, strongly recommended. First drift I've done, um, glad I've finally got the opportunity to do it. So absolutely sensational. Hope you enjoyed the footage, uh, managed to catch a few fish, which was great. So just want to take the opportunity, thank a few sponsors, um, Taylor's Lures, um, Proven AM um, for making it possible. Um, Trolley's Outdoor and Fishing um, in Bendigo, Geelong and Shepparton. But a special mention to the guys, Justin and the team um, in Trolley's in Bendigo. Give me a few tips um, on what to use, gear, lures um, for the trip. So thanks to the sponsors once again. Also, um, if you enjoyed the trip, um, love to hear what you think. Um, drop them in the comments below. Got any questions, read the trip, fuel economy, what we packed. If you enjoyed the video, thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. Thanks for joining me. Really appreciate it. Um, it's been a massive journey. We just recently hit 2,000 subscribers on the channel. Really appreciate your support. So we'll see you on the next video.